My name is Jimmy Flanagan, and I'm running for Austin City Council District 6. I grew up in a neighborhood just like this one. Quiet streets, good schools. Hey, Jimmy, we need you inside. The campaign work is never done. But neither is the work to fix the problems we have in Austin. We face crippling traffic, rising property crime, dwindling water supplies, and out of control taxes. All the while, District 6 has been ignored by City Hall. It's time to get Austin turned around. Now let's get to work. Jimmy, our new posters have a nine on them instead of a six. Just turn them around. Red or blue ribbons, Jimmy. Red, white, and blue. Jimmy, how can I get wax out of the carpet? I need a paper bag and an iron. There are problems great and small we need to fix. But it's gonna take a comprehensive and creative set of solutions to address the problems that we face. Mr. Whiskey, get down from there. The fix isn't just gonna fall right into our laps. We need to protect ourselves against the threat of wildfires and fight a rising property crime problem. Not just by hiring more police officers, but by protecting your valuables and keeping your garage door closed. We need to be worried about the future, especially our water resources. We have the worst drought on record, and it's gonna take more than a few ice bucket challenges to fill our creeks, lakes, and rivers. We need to do reusable and recyclable water, like purple pipe and gray water systems. And we need to restructure Austin water so we stop telling people to pay more for using less water. And if we work together, we can get the water flowing again in Austin. But let's talk about the real problem facing Austin in District 6, and that's traffic. We need to get moving on fixing this problem. There's a number of things we can do in the short term, midterm, and long term to address this problem. We have to do signal timing and bus service, and that can start to work quickly. We need to work with the business community on flex time and telecommuting, get those cars off the road. We need to have road and intersection improvements, especially 620, Palmer Lane, and 2222. We need to have expanded park and ride facilities and expanded parking at the Red Line Station because those parking lots are already full for rush hour. And yes, we will need long-term, cost-effective, well-planned alternatives to driving along my system of connected corridors which means managing our growth to complement our infrastructure. Not just a plan of any rail is better than no rail. But none of this is gonna matter if no one can afford to live in Austin. We can actually fix the problems we have while minding our dollars and cents. But enough talk, it's time for action. There are so many conversations that we have at City Hall but they never fix them. And we need to have a real conversation about all the problems that we have in Austin because District 6 faces real, real problems that require real solutions. And my years of experience at City Hall means that we'll actually be able to solve these problems because City Hall is in child's play. My many relationships across Austin means that when it's time to get it done, things in concert will work together. And that's where you come in. It's gonna take more than just one council member to solve the problems that we face in Austin. I need the help of community leaders, great and small, in order to fix the problems that we face. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Gabe. Once elected, I'll have regular community meetings and I'll have regular office hours because I need to be accessible to you, not have you waiting around for me. And I need to listen to what you have to say and not have you just listen to more campaign speeches. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> and that's how we're gonna get it done. It's gonna, take, it's gonna take a lot of effort and a lot of work, but with my experiences and relationships, we can actually fix the problems that we have in District 6. My name is Jimmy Flanagan, and I ask for your support on November 4th, because remember, Flanagan can fix it. Jimmy, Mr. Whiskers is stuck again. I'm on it.
should have voted for him. You should have voted for him on November 4th. You should vote for him. Let's all vote.